there, and welcome to another episode of Terrific TV Toys. We're very excited that you could join us for this episode, as we're going to be showing you something extremely special. Oh no! Someone's in trouble. Pardon me. You are looking at an Amazon, and not just because she is the Wonder Woman character, but she is big. She's an Amazon. She is about 16 inches high, a plush toy, um, and she was part of a series that was released several years ago for the Justice League animated TV series that aired on Cartoon Network. I um, guess it originally aired late 1990s, early 2000s, and then it became... Um, instead of Justice League, they broadened it, added characters, and it became Justice League Unlimited. But this is the Wonder Woman from the original Justice League animated series. And you can see she's even got her silver star earrings, interestingly enough. Um, double ply, two ply, <laughs> in sort of a rubbery vinyl um, fabric. She has a sewn-on... Well, sewn on, yeah, I guess you could say so. It's all one piece, her outfit, her main um, bodysuit. But then her bracelets are a separate piece that is sewn on. Her silver bracelets, which is that rubbery material, the vinyl-like material. And then her boots are part of her in all this plush. And she's got a little bit of detail. You can see the knee detail here. Um seams here and there. I like her puffy hair. <laughs> and there is another um, plush, Wonder Woman plush, that I've shown on the Terrific TV Toys series before. It was part of the set of smaller plush, 9 or 10 inches, that were originally sold at the Warner Brothers Studios store, I believe back in the 1990s, um, probably mid-1990s or so. There's a Wonder Woman in that set, and she looks a lot different because that Wonder Woman was not based on Justice League, of course, and the, the Bruce Timm verse, um, versions of these characters um, because it had not come along yet. But this is the version of Wonder Woman that you saw on that Justice League series. She's got her tiara, also two pieces of material, interestingly. We'll straighten that out for her. And her blue eyes and her beautiful red lips and then painted on um, features for her face. There were several... Um, characters released in this set. This is by Toy Works, which makes me think that this was a claw game toy. Now I've seen lots of claw game or crane game toys over the years. Um, I don't remember seeing these in the claw machines, but um, this one, you know, there's a lot of them that are made by Toy Works. There are variations of this Wonder Woman, and then there are other characters on the set. I cannot get an actual year on here though in these tags. I was kind of wondering about that and I was looking online to see maybe what year these were released. But no, it's just got the trademark copyright information. But I know from a little journeying across the web, um, here's a variation. And this one, um, she looks different. See how she's got a little bit different facial expression, and she's got a different tag. I think I have a close-up view of that tag in another screenshot. Yeah, right here. It's a different tag than what you see here. Um, so there's a variation of that. Oops. And then we have a Green Lantern plush action figure, 17 inch DC Justice League, and this one is also by Toy Works, so that's part of that same set. You can see a little bit better, he's got his paper tag on that has the logo from the TV show on it. There's Superman, same thing, 
plush by um, Toy Factory. It says these are all eBay listings. There's Martian Manhunter also in this set. So really the core figures, I think there were seven core characters in the Justice League when it premiered. There also was Hot Girl. I should have looked for Hot Girl too. Now here's something interesting, a variation that I saw. This is a Superman. They call it 17 inch. But look at his tag. His tag has a Mattel logo. So there seems to be a um, sort of a companion series for these Justice League 17 inch plush figures and maybe that's the other Wonder Woman variation that we just saw a moment ago that were um, released by Mattel. So this one also on eBay. You can see the prices for these are varying between 10 to 20 bucks. Yeah, there's a close-up on that tag. There's Flash. Another one. And Flash is $16.75 according to this listing. And Batman. Also with that, um, with a Justice League tag that does not appear to have the Mattel logo. So, lots of goodies in this set. Now this one, I did not get out of a cola game. This came from actually a flea market that was um, kind of an antique show sort of flea market that was um, near DC in Maryland and this would have been about um, I want to say like 2011 when I found this and I paid a dollar for her she is not in the best shape she's a little played with but she's intact she's not torn anywhere so I was happy to get a little piece of the Justice League TV show and a plush for my favorite Amazon. <laughs> so thanks for watching and tune in to BRB TV here on YouTube for more terrific TV toys.